stand. She's doing amazing. So now I can open that door wide open, walk out, and she sees the other dogs walking around out there, and she stays put no matter where I put her. So there is where Pearl's at. So much nicer to be around now when she's not being crazy and jumping and hitting me in the face. Isn't it? Huh? Isn't it? So with Pearl, we basically just work drill, 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 drill the down and the stay and just correcting just bad manners like pulling into you pulling through doorways and practicing her patience because that was her biggest issue was she had no impulse control at all if that door opened she was like a raging bull flying through there and anything in the way was gone <laughs> so that's what we've been working on with her. Sit. 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 She is a big, happy girl. She's having a lot of fun. Aren't you? And eat a lot. Easy. 
Oh, here's the other thing that we work on with her. Okay, if I can find it, I might have to wait until another video. But I have a big tug rope. She loves to play tug. But the problem is she's so big and strong that when you want her to let go, she doesn't let go. And uh, so we've been working a lot on dropping. So when I say let go, I mean let go. And that's kind of a combination of using the, uh, the collar and then when she does drop it, reward her with some food or reward her again with the toy real fast. Because when she really wants to pull, she can yank your arm <laughs> out of socket. Easy. Good girl. We've been working a lot on taking the food out of my hand gently. Uh-uh. And here's how we do that. Just because I know, uh-uh. I know a lot of dogs try to take your hand off when you give them food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that food like this, totally enclose it in my hand. So when she goes to bite, you know, it might hurt a tiny bit on my knuckle, but she realizes that she needs to let up the pressure before she gets the food. See how she backed away? Good. And if she's still like pushy with it, then I'm just gonna push it the rest of her way in her mouth. Good. I'm basically like punching down into her mouth. Better she do that, then it messes up her timing and she can't bite your fingers. You just end up with a big old nasty hand. Like that. But that's how we have lots of paper towels. Good. See, now she's backing her head away when I try to give her a treat. Good. Or, you can do the old horse method. Where you just lay it in your hand flat and feed it like that. But that doesn't work all the time because sometimes they have to be able to hold on to the tree. Another way you can do it is put it in your hand just like that. So you're still kind of holding it, but your hand's flat and you can't bite your fingers. It is so slimy. Isn't it? Yeah, you're slimy. All right, so there's a good look at Pearl. She's a very cool dog. She's grown on me a lot. Once you get past the drool, that's a big deal though. <laughs> Let me show you something here real quick. See that? And that is her after one drinking session. Just running out of her mouth that's all her so I definitely if you're gonna have a dog like this I would keep the water bowl outside or have lots of towels and mops handy and hopefully you have a uh, tiled or linoleum floors what do you think girl huh yeah what what what? Sit. All right, there's a good look at Pearl. We're gonna do all three of them. I'm gonna pull out Ragnar next and show you where he's at. He's a little spitfire. He's cool too. All right, toodles.